All right, gentlemen, quick update. Um, <laughs> I fixed that problem, first of all. Uh, redid the whole, I just made a new one, just, uh, yeah. So, another thing is, uh, once I got my hatches in here and fitted, they're nice and tight. I mean, nice and tight, beautiful. So, I haven't cut my handles in yet. Push this thing back up, sorry. Um, I added that bottom piece down there and that piece right there. And I'm really glad I did that before I went and stepped on this. I weigh 285 pounds. So if I had a stepped on this little piece of plywood right here and these two little pieces of aluminum, pretty sure I would have sunk this bad boy down to right about there or all the way down to just thrash this thing. So I cut those pieces real quick and easy and I did the cheap easy thing i just threw a couple self tappers in there self tapper self tapper there and a self tapper there um not sure why i didn't just do that I, I, anybody out there if anybody's done it with just self tapping screws instead of rivets let me know i i guess they might work themselves loose but once you have your decking all screwed down i'm thinking maybe not um Probably was, I mean, I'm telling you, that was, that took me uh, maybe three minutes to build that little piece right there and put it in, uh, as opposed to taking a couple of days to build it the other way. <clears throat> so I'm guessing somebody could uh, make some money probably by just taking these uh, measurements and making a bunch of these things and send them out and just have people put them together with self-tapping screws. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to start a business. I don't know. Anyways, uh, another question to all you guys that have built. I did not prime. Do I didn't do anything with my plywood. I didn't do anything except uh, carpet adhesive. And so it's got marine grade back rubber on here, right underneath here. But I am going to be drilling holes through it. So question to everybody out there is probably a bonehead move but i can always redo this piece with the you know later i guess i guess we'll find out how long it's gonna last <laughs> all right so that's just a quick update i've still got to put my cut my hinges and put that on there i bought a five foot um, hinge off of amazon and it's actually got the name and part number and everything on there if anybody wants it let's see that is what it is. Stalker hinge stainless steel. Uh, there's your number. I want to say this was, I don't know, 29 bucks. There you go. So I'll let you know how this turns out because I haven't cut, I've never cut, I've never done this before ever. I'm just going off of what other people did, like uh, Steve Lipsky and uh, Matt. But anyways, I'm trying to figure out how to cut this. So, Steve, anybody want to jump on here and tell me how you did your hinges? And maybe uh, open up your hatch and give us a show so we can see that a little better. Um, and, and tell me what screws you used. To, I would imagine you used a flathead screw uh, to put these on. I don't know. I, I haven't got that far yet. But it's coming along. She's coming along. If I haven't got any screwed down. Oh, and by the way, so I've got five eighths, five eighths plywood here, and then and then the quarter inch uh, of the carpet, and then I've got to go through into the aluminum. I bought one inch stainless steel screws. And I'm guessing these are not the right ones because if I put that son of a gun up there, that that just barely goes through the plywood. I mean, I I'm guessing it doesn't have to go far into there, but I'm not I'm not gonna have but a couple of threads biting into this by the time it gets through. See that? Anyways. Uh, any other hints, tips on that? I think I'm going to have to go get longer screws. Before I do that, do you guys jump on and tell me what you think? Uh, I mean, seriously. 
I need guidance, brothers. Help me out.